Hello, my friends, and welcome back, everyone, to Ark Scorched Earth. Today we return, and today I got two things on my mind. That parasair back there that we encountered last episode, it's a sign from the Arks above that we need to start the process of taming a rock elemental. So today we're going to go over there with our abundance of Trank arrows. We have an abundance, right? Yeah, we got 23. We probably should craft up a couple more, so I'll go ahead and do that. I don't remember exactly how much it takes. I'm just going to max craft. Worst case, we can make some more narcotics. We're going to go get that Parasair because we got to get a platform saddle on the Parasair to ultimately knock out a rock elemental. So we got to shoot it in the head with cannonballs because that's how you knock them out. So that's what we got to try and do. That's what we're going to try and do. I think you can do it with a rocket launcher too. But that's hella harder. But also today, there's another task I wanted to accomplish and that involves... Farming. All right, so all you seven days to die, all you people back from the seven days to die, you Midwestern farmers, you're going to like this episode extra bad because we're farming. All right, so before we start farming, Ron, listen, I got to take you out, buddy. It's time that you come with us for a little bit. Let's crank your health up a bunch, you know, not that it really matters. You're going to die right away anyways if anything happens. And then we're going to go. We're going to head out on Luna, you know. Let's say hi to Luna. Hopefully get Luna some... Just kidding, we weigh a bajillion pounds. We can't do that. Um, okay, so we're going to head out on Luna in a little bit here. First, I do want to begin this entire intake system, right? We got to... I should probably take the moth out now that I think about it. Am I going to be... Okay, so we're going to put some of the stone on him just for the time being here. Uh, well, only some of it, not all of it. So we're also going to put away some of our... Extra clan, no, I think we're okay. The stone kind of does weigh a little bit. We're gonna take the moth just for ease of transport. Um, speaking of that, I might, can I ride you safely? Okay, I can. I don't know what I'll, your level's probably gonna go in stamina then. Maybe some movement speed too, I don't know. But we got to begin the intake process. We got to start the farm and our closest water source is right here. So what we got to do is, uh, well actually, which way does the intake come from? It comes from, there, right? Okay, so if the intake starts here, we're going to want to start it kind of close to the waterfall. So we're going to start it there, and from there, can we go vertical? Yes, we can. Now we just literally got to go straight vertical. We got to get back. I don't know why there's still a flying piece of poop up there. I never understood that. It just, it just is. It's the way of life, right? And then we got to bring that up a certain amount. I think that ought to be enough. I don't know. Let's try here with crafting. Um, let's go with not the intake. Do we have the inclined pipe? Yeah, we got an incline. We'll do one of those, and then we're gonna get a bunch of straight pipes here, and then we're gonna get some more stone from upstairs. Finish this off, but hopefully this is high enough to the point where we can work on it from here, which we should be able to do. I don't. We'll see. Anyways, yeah, so if you want to only come for the Parasair stuff, right, go ahead and uh, you can fast forward a wee, wee, wee bit here. And, oh, it's so close, but so far. Oh, okay, I got it. I'm going to take some fall damn. Oh, damn it. All right, hold up. I got to get back up there. This is goddamn shenanigans. I hate, <laughs> I hate shenanigans like that. All right, so here we are. Um, we probably might want to get one more incline, to be completely honest here. And then from there, that should be at a decent level where we can get it where it needs to be. So can we reach? We can reach it now. Let's get those straight pipes. And from the straight pipes, we're going to have a beautiful piece of architecture. I had to say that fancy architecture. Uh, we do have to craft up a little bit more. And then that plant species Y will hopefully start growing. And once that thing is all fully grown, ooh la la, is that going to be awesome. Anyways, uh... Yeah, I want to grab the stones back from you here, buddy, and probably make a couple of inclines. I'll make three just to be safe, and then from there, let's get back over here. We're going to have to bring it up a little bit. Hopefully, we can bring it to the right position for this. That's kind of the one thing I'm sketched out about. Like, I might not be able to bring it to the right spot, but hey, listen, I've done harder in my life, right? Like, I I, I believe in myself. I'm, I'm a good guy. I... I think I'm, I'm talented, right? I've I made paper mache once. All right, it wasn't awful. It, it was quite decent, actually. All right, it only fell apart after ten minutes, not the usual five minutes that are expected. And we got the straight pipe coming out, and I aimed. Oh my God, I am a pro. Can we just acknowledge this for like a quick second? That I'm amazing. And now that is ear. Ma. Uh, 
you're telling me that's not irrigated? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, game. I, there you go. Damn right you're irrigated, you bastards. Apparently some people were telling me the greenhouse effect is if we put them inside of a building, they will actually somehow grow faster if we do it inside of, like, a glass building or something. Anyways, today we're going back. We're doing this adventure on Mothra as well. Nah, you know what? We're going to take the dire wolf. We're not too heavy. We're going to have some fun. Maybe have some murderous fun as well. I like a little murder. You know, not when it's me getting murdered or my animals, but I, everyone likes a little murder. To prepare for the murder that will probably happen, I'm going to definitely crank up the melee damage on this guy a little bit. Maybe could have made him a bit tankier. He's not super fast because we are pretty close to his weight limit, but it should be okay. We do have our lovely, lovely guy on our shoulder and we're venturing out and... Did he just poop in midair? He might have just pooped in midair. Anyways. There might be some adversity along the way. Hopefully we can survive. Like, I see a dire wolf over there. Are we ready to take on a dire wolf? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, we need some water anyways. Alright, so we kind of got to go down there. Dire wolf, I hope you're ready to die, buddy. JK, I, ho I hope you're, like, not ready to die so I can get you by surprise. Okay, that's a 29. Okay, we got we got to help out our buddy. We got to help out our buddy. He needs some help. He needs some help. No, 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 no. Don't die, Luna. Of course, of, of, of course, it only makes sense that we tame the level one, but as soon as we try to go kill a dire wolf, oh, it's a level 29, yeah, what a love to tame, yeah, damn right, you give me a metal pick, oh my god, well, rip Luna, that was short lived, um, did you at least have anything on you, Luna, that I could pick, no, I, it, it, it's okay, Luna was not the strongest of people, we, we will, We'll be okay. I'll, I'll tame up a new Luna or something. Oh my god. That that was so anticlimactic. I knew it. I knew as soon as that was happening. I'm like, you know, knowing me, knowing my luck, this is going to be, like, dumb and be, like, a level 30 wolf, which is close to the max level. I think the max right now is 40, but I haven't seen anything at 40 for some reason. I hear something trotting. Alright, listen. You, buddy. You, what level are you? I might try to tame you up in the meantime here. I mean, like, I got, you know, to hell with it. You are going to join my pack. I, like, I'm going to be busy today. We're taming everything. We're not just taming parasitters. We're taming a goddamn army. I hope I have the trank arrows for this army, but uh, stop running away. There you go. All right. Well, dire wolf, start getting welcome to the family. I don't have a whole ton of meat to give you, but uh, go ahead. It's like 20. Enjoy. All right. I see your dire wolf brethren are also here. Are they interested in joining my pack? I think so. And oh! that scared the crap out of me. I did not like. It's an ant. That shouldn't be scary. That scared the crap out of me. Parasir is still over there, so that's beautiful. Our goal is still in sight, but there's some enemies along the way. And you know what we do to enemies? I, I don't know. I don't. I never really thought this far ahead. Yeah, there is one dire wolf over there we gotta take care of. Ow, what? Like, uh, th really? An ant? An I mean, the good news is I can get some meat out of these guys, I guess. Give me your meat. Alright, then hopefully this dire wolf doesn't take too long. I also don't want the dire wolf to wake up, because that would be extra annoying, because then... Well, we have a live dire wolf on our hands. I don't like live dire wolves unless they're my dire wolves. Okay, I see his... Oh, I thought that was his tail. That's a rock. No, he's over here. Or she's over here, actually. Oh, look at that. A female to replace Luna. Let's see. I want to see how much food she gets out of it. I might go grab the camel... Camelosaurus. Bring him over here, too. Okay, so I will be right back. All right, boyos. So we brought the Camelosaurus over. Big reason for that. Good old camera up is that... Well, we're going to need a lot of berries for that Paris air. Probably craft up some more narcotics. I had to craft up a couple more while I was back at home before bringing this fellow over. Um, so over here on the dire wolf, we got some meat. We got some more spoiled, which is pretty good. Um, we'll give you some narcotic. I don't think we have to feed it too much. I'll give it like two narcotic just in case. There's an enemy dire wolf over here that's kind of sketching me out. Um, do we attempt to tame it? That's the question. Honestly, I say we try to tame it. Let's just get away from everything else. Get some hits in from a distance before it aggro's onto anything. Where are you going? Where are you going? Dire wolf. Join the fam. Come on. Where are you running to, by the way? Like, for reals. Wanna get some hits in on you. 
Okay, you got a hit. That's good for you. Good for you, Dire Wolf. Come on. You want to get another one in here? Or you want to get knocked out? Oh, you want to get knocked out. Don't you dare eat my Dire Wolf over there. Don't attack my Camel Saurus either. Oh, I missed. Really? I got to save these Trank Arrows. Come on. Come on. Don't attack it. Get called off. Stop. Stop it. No. No. I hate... I, I despise you, Camerupt. We, I wasted Trank Arrows on that. Oh my god, if you accidentally hurt the other one, oh, you- I- Camera up. I don't care that I've leveled you up a lot. I will do bad things to you. I will. Is he safe? No health damage? Still good taming effect? 57%? Who the- I- uh, That's what I get, that's what I get. I'm putting you- I'm putting your ass on passive. I'm done. Not hand- like, I don't need your help. Honestly. Alright, well in the meantime, you stay here so I remember where the dire wolf is. Um, dire wolf, I'll give you one more narcotic just in case. You should get tamed before this is over, I'll give you two more. We do have a level from all the narcotics I was doing. Um, I'll go up in health. We hit 65, so that's cool, we hit a nice milestone. I'm kinda sad that we had a okay level dire wolf that just got destroyed, but that's okay. Some of, Something of ours broke, was it our head? Our safari hat. Of course it broke. I'm just, I'm just salty right now. My God, you can, you can probably taste the salt over there. Like if you, get, if you, if you, listen, if you got some extra meat, you need salted. Just watch my videos. Save some money. Don't go to the store. Don't buy some salt. All right. Watch my videos. You'll get your fair share of that beautiful sodium chloride. Is that what salt is, right? Okay. So here, Paris there. I hope that you're stuck in place so I can do this correctly. Um, this is, I think this is a solid spot. I think you're pretty stuck there. Yeah, this is, this is okay. Beautiful. Stuck on a rock. And then in a couple minutes here, this thing, oh, look at how pissed that thing looks. Look at its face. It is having none of my crap. Okay, so now it's starting to run. The good news is, I think if I just kind of stay in this corridor, it can't really attack me once it starts to want to attack me. So at this point, it's it's demolishing trees. It's had enough of my shenanigans. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back, and it's stronger than ever! And it's attempting to come back. Anyways, we should knock this thing out. This will be our biggest dino by far. And it's going to be a super useful one. Give us the platform saddle. Oh, don't you dare weave your way through there. I see your head. I see you trying to peek in. Yeah, I'll shoot you right up the nose. Make sure this stuff hits real quick. Yeah, get it right in your nose. That's right. Oh, you, you 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 don't believe me, huh? You don't believe me. Boom! Take a whiff of that. Just don't 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 look that way, please. Do you want to get knocked out? I feel like I'm gonna kill the poor thing. I don't want it killed. I just want it knocked out. I also hope the dire wolf's doing pretty well back home. Oh my god, this is this is this is unethical. Oh god, that thing's getting kind of close at this point. No, Paris there. No. Oh my god, how many trankers are gonna take? You're a decent level one, aren't you? That's why. It's a solid level Paris. Okay, now I think he's running because he's about to get knocked out. Right? Isn't that in their AI? Yeah, boy! Look at what we have here. Hello, Mrs. Paris Air of the level 21 variety. Ooh, this one's gonna be kinda tanky. I'm gonna start- I'm gonna throw the extra narcotics on ya. Actually, no, I'm not, because like a dire wolf might wander over and pretty much murder you. Uh, I saw there was a terror bird around. I don't think they'll attack a Paris Air, though. I think Paris Airs are pretty safe. So I'm going to head back, we're going to watch over the dire wolf tame, hopefully the parasaur doesn't wake up too quick like, and then we just got to, oh, don't poop on the poor thing, I saw that camera up, I was looking, I, I see things man, come on, don't, don't, don't be like that, okay, well the dire wolf should be tamed up, eventually he'll finish his own tame, I will give him a couple more narcotics though, just because I'm kind of sketched out, and I would like to ensure that just make sure she stays asleep. Then we're gonna bring everything else over. We're gonna bring the pair, or we're gonna bring camera up over. And I'm going to, we gotta get a lot of berries. I'll make sure to do that by there. Nothing too deadly around here at the moment. Only a couple moths to the left. Everything to the right seems pretty safe. That thing is so bloodied, I feel awful. Well, it doesn't matter, because it's about to be mine. So I, like, feelings don't really matter. Okay, I, I promise, like, I'm not like that with real pets. I, I care about my real pets' feelings, okay? Where did all those meho- Oh, there they are. I'm like, what the hell? You took all the meho berries? God damn. All right, Paris there. Listen, I got some treats for you. That's right. 
being knocked out and under my captivity ain't all that bad. Why? Free meho berries, spoon fed right to your face. Now, just don't take forever to tame, please. I, I don't want to sit. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Still, if we do kind of well on the taming effect on this, plus 10. Not too shabby. We could have gotten. Uh, that's another reason we got to expand the farm. Right now, just plant species Y plant. We'll probably expand that to a couple plants because crops are actually more effective with taming. So we should be able to tame quicker. Um, but this thing's just going to be taming up. It's going to take a decent amount of time. Unconscious wise, I'm not going to put all the narcotic in there just in case it dies and gets harvested. But it's got a ton of topor, so we don't really have to worry too much. I'm just going to have camera up, chill here, you know, babysit. Not that you can really babysit much. Um, let's throw that gamma up to four so I can see some things. And uh, it's so, it's, there's so little color at night when you just crank up your gamma, but I'm probably gonna go in between here. I'm gonna go over here, watch the diary wolf finish get taming. Comment section down below if you guys have any suggestions for a replacement dire wolf. Let me know, you know, if you had some extra time, go ahead and like some comments as well. That gives me a good idea of what you guys want. And uh, hopefully if all goes well, we'll get to name the Parasair as well. But comment section down below, go ahead and let me know. And uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't take too much time. You just gotta type out a comment. And I think it's cool that I feature some of you guys, even if your comment doesn't necessarily get picked. You know, I'll pick a couple comments of the winning name. And then uh, sometimes even if there's like a really cool one that just didn't win or something, if it is a combination of like personal preference and what you guys want, then yeah. But uh, complications aside, I'm gonna continue doing this. It is really cold outside and uh nighttime should be over soon so i'll let you know when our wild female here is tamed with those three juicy bonus levels and it's probably gonna be one more food and we'll be done so uh should not be too long but uh other than that see you guys in a tad bit all right boys and girls we got the dire wolf tame as awful as this sounds we actually just upgraded our dire wolf. We gotta look at this positively. So while PETA might get very pissed off by this phrase, I call what happened today upgrading our dire wolf. All right, and some dog lovers out there will get pissed off. I swear I would never do this with the real dog, even then I'm still quite sad about Luna, Rip Luna. But uh, uh, the, the new Luna, not that that's gonna be your name, but new Luna, so much better. To start our training, oh god, that's a level 45 thorny dragon. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I was not prepared for a level 45 thorny dragon. I kind of want to keep that thing alive because we can do some good taming there. Like, if we can tame that thing up, oh no, it's sending out the spikes. If we can tame those things up, yo ho ho. Those are some higher level thornies. And honestly, I'm planning on cranking that, uh, Ultimately, I do want to crank the game level up again. I mean, the goal, I think, would be working our way slowly. I think as we're starting to get stronger here, we will crank it up. We'll start getting super hard. Kind of make it part of the story, part of the experience, part of the series. Is that progressively, the series gets harder. Because at first, the series was hard as tits, dude. Like, that was not fair. That was not fair. That was like borderline abuse going on with what the animals were doing to us. Uh, in the meantime, let's murder a terror bird. That's a level 21. I don't care about a 21. See you later, terror bird. Oh, look at that. Oh, the Jerboa is trying to help. Oh, I didn't mean to kill you, Jugbug. You're a cool dude. So those thorny dragons, we might come back or we might even wait until there we find even higher levels when we crank the difficulty. I'm thinking next episode I might crank it a bit once we get the Parasair. I hope to God the Parasair doesn't die. Dude, I heard something trotting. That kind of scared me. Was that me? I think that was me. Okay, so Topor-wise, still doing really well. Health-wise, not so much, but that's to be expected. Um, I'm just going to keep on eating some raw meat. Pisses people off, but it's efficient. I don't have to cook it. Don't have to gather wood for it. And ultimately, we, we're still pretty close to full health the entire time. Sure, we lose like 34 health, but it's an easy way of getting our food up. And I'm lazy, so it's, it's a good way. <laughs> Anyways, at this point in time, the Parasair's just got to be babysat. It's really weird to find its, like, tame box, but I'll just go ahead and do that. Hopefully nothing too dangerous wanders over and decides to, like, attack us. That would be awful. Like, those thorny dragons, that's, that's scary. That's a 45 in the wild. We've yet to encounter one of those. The good news is we got a pretty strong dire wolf here, so I'm kind of confident in our abilities. I'm just going to tank up that health there. Like, Rip Luna, you will be missed, but... Uh, 
and Luna's successor is doing some magical things. Anyways, uh, also during this, I will have camera up on neutral just in case we get attacked. I don't want to, like, you know, die. Actually, camera up's almost as level. Yeah, I mean, if we... Actually, I think if we just go hit some, some of this, camera up gets a level soon. Camera up. There you go. Nice. Another level for camera up there. I'm going to start upping your weight, making you the camel that you should be. Anyways, I'm going to see how the Paraceratame goes, and then, speaking of the Paraceratame, um, if we go to Paracer Platform Saddle, we need the Paracer Saddle first, and then the Platform Saddle, and they're both crafted up at the Schmitty, so we're going to need some metal, but I don't think it should be too outrageous, so, uh, hopefully I'll just crap, or gather some metal once all said and done, and then we will, uh, you will have a saddle with which to start building our rock elemental taming platform on, and then hopefully when Taco gets back from breaking his back, rip Taco, he'll, uh, he'll be able to help us out. Cause it is a two-man job to tame a rock elemental, and we'll do our damn hardest, but uh, we will see. Anyways, I uh, will talk to you guys on the Parasers, a, a bit closer to being tamed. All right, lads and lassies, we're getting close. I don't know if it did it. Parasair, welcome. Comment section, go crazy. It's time for us to have a name for this beautiful animal. By far our tankiest animal. Base health of almost 2,000. Oh, almost 1,000 weight. This is going to be a damn good experience. Welcome to the family, Parasair. Now we just need an awesome name for you. And hopefully that is something that the beautiful people in the comments will be able to provide. So you guys know what to do. Yo, I didn't even check Direwolf. Oh, he's got some levels. Let's go up in health a little. And go a bit more tanky. So that is awesome, awesome news. Welcome to the family, you gigantic thing, you. Like, look at you. Look at... Look at him. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. He's so cute. He's like a giant, uh, Jar Jar Binks teddy bear. He reminds me so much of Jar Jar Binks. Seriously. Like, I'm pretty sure this is a crossover with Star Wars, but, uh, legal issues, impending legal issues aside, <laughs> let's hop back on everything. Uh, I'll get the... I'll get you guys... Uh, it's gonna be annoying to bring everyone up there. I just realized that. I'll also ride the dire wolf because he's kind of stuck. There's a thunderstorm going on too. Um, take that as you will. I don't know. You do you. And let's enable fall. Dude, I, seriously, there you go. I always forget the key command. I just gotta start to memorize those. And we can go one more time and health. Hopefully make you a bit better of a fighter. And then let's start making our way back home. Hopefully there's nothing too aggressive on the way there. We'll try to make a saddle, but, uh, comment section down below. Let me know if you have any ideas whatsoever. Please do not hesitate to go ahead and ask them, because there's a good chance that your comment might very well get picked, and even if you see that comment, leave a comment anyway and make it picked in addition to the one that has most likes, and also make sure to like some comments, because that way I know truly which ones you like the most. Now, something sketchy, when the Doetic Karras is rolled up in a ball, that means something aggressive is nearby. There's a thorny dragon over there. I don't know if that's the really high level one. Let's just get away. Bring these guys to safety and uh, secure the area. And then we're going to go home. And once we're home, really it's just going to be Operation Build a Platform Saddle. I think I'm just going to go straight to a Platform Saddle. So we're going to see what that requires. Um, we are going to have to take a bit of a detour here. A bridge there would have been so dope. I should have done that. Is that a... Is that a thorny dragon or a fi I think that's a fish. Okay, for some reason I thought I saw a thorny dragon. Because there was one there and I didn't see where he went. Anyways, I'm going to bring these guys home. Go on a little bit of a metal run. Schmelt everything up. And hopefully have a Bronto platform ready and rearing to go soon enough. In the meantime, welcome to the family, Paris there. Alright lads and lassies, after some adventure, we are ready. We have what we need. I am crafting some extra cementing base. I actually got more than I thought I would need. But if we go in here, all the preparations have been made. And it is time. Lads, I think, unless I like. I, 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 no, I'm pretty sure I saw it was green before. I made sure this was good. Because I don't want to go back and gather more. I just want to. I just want to ride this thing. Yes! We can ride it. So here are the platform saddle getting made. Also, this guy's got an extra level. Um. I'll probably just put him up and wait. 
and some melee damage too, so he's like an okay fighter. Smashing. I can't believe smashing is all the way up to level 55 already, but doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm riding a Parasair. Call me the star sniper rhymes. Who needs bust rhymes when you can sniper rhymes? What up, what up, what up? Okay, I'm just excited. I'm sorry. I can't hold my excitement. This guy, of course, has some extra levels. I'm probably going to put some of that into weight. And then also, let's throw some into health. Hit him up to 20k, but... I'm gonna put the saddle on there, and soon enough, we will begin construction of the cannon contraption. So pretty much how we have to do the rock golem, to my knowledge, from what I've seen, from what I've talked to people with, we have to attempt, hold up, first things, let's put the gamma back to normal, I always forget about that. First, let's, let's bask in the glory of this Parasair, right? So glorious, look at it. Look at it, so, it looks so presidential in this pose for some reason. But, uh, pretty much the game plan for making this work, god the turn radius on these things is awful, is that what we have to do is build a cannon on this thing, and then we have to get a rock elemental stuck, pretty much, to the point where we can fire a cannon at, uh, at the thing's head, that's how we knock it out. So it's gonna be quite grueling. I might need to call in some more traders, you know, we might need more traders than just Taco to make it work, but we'll, we'll try and make it work here. And, uh, we're gonna do everything that we can to hopefully just make sure that all is well in the world, but other than that, um, I think that's about gonna go ahead and do it for this episode. I don't want this episode to go up super late, just how long the Paris are taming and also getting everything for the goddamn saddle took it took me a bit longer than i would like so this video is gonna be a bit late i would want to say super sorry about that hopefully you guys did enjoy a ton though i cannot wait soon the journey begins for the rock elemental also hopefully soon uh this thing will finally get seated i don't know i don't know how long does it usually take hopefully it's done by next time but uh Things are looking up. I'm excited, probably in terms of basic things. We still want to get an Argentavis, but then it's going to be Rock Elemental time. Then we're going to try and take on a Death Worm. And once the Death Worm is taken on, we can use its spikes for the Mantis. And that right there is going to be a huge series of events. So right now, we have the calm before the storm, all right? So listen, while it's still calm, while your microwaves are still intact and the storm hasn't blown them away, start popping some popcorn, you know, stock up, be ready. Things are going, things are on the fast track to interesting. All right, not it, not just interesting, to goddamn exhilarating. All right, things are about to get great. But other than that, uh, it's pretty much gonna do it for me. Like I said, Paris there, work on the cannon. Uh, maybe let's, let's, let's hop a peek at what the cannon's gonna need. Because what is it, we need the cannon, and then cannon balls. So if we look at that, we look at weapons ranged. No, where's it gonna be? Here we can see it's gonna 900. Okay. Well, uh, this might take a little while, but that's okay. It'll be worth it. How much is a cannonball? Don't make me cry with the answer. Don't make me cry with the answer. Okay, there's some tears. Definitely some tears. Um. I'm gonna try to get a video out relatively early tomorrow, and then uh, spend all my extra time tomorrow getting a lot of metal ingots. Obsidian, not as bad. Chem, cementing paste, not as bad. Gunpowder, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find a way. Wow, that is a lot of metal. You know, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it when we're riding on a goddamn rock, all right? What's the rock's name gonna be? I don't know, Jimmy. Just kidding, I'm gonna let you guys choose. But yeah, name the Parasair, name our new direwolf, and have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day. Goodbye, my friends.